All right, chip of the day. People love chip of the day. We have a RF2126 uh, high power linear amplifier, three to six volt operation, 1.3 watts, 12 dB gain, 45% efficiency, eh. power down mode, 400 megahertz to 2700 megahertz op operation. Uh, it is a uh, SO8 package uses four pins for the output, two pins for the input, and then there's this bias circuit that sets some type of gain. And if you run this down under 0.5 volts, it goes into shutdown mode and stuff. It's gallium arsenide. It's a real fancy part, right? So great. And uh, I found this on, on AliExpress. Really good, right? It's got the part, it's got the PC board, heat sink, it's all set to go, except, except it doesn't work. <laughs> And before you ask, I already got my money back. Um, so yeah, the chip's dead. It's drawing no current at all. So I don't know what the deal is. So there you go, that's chip of the day. All right, well, maybe we can do something with it. All right, even though it's non-functional electrically, maybe we can at least get some education out of the way today. Um, so when I looked at the board when I received it, the uh, spacing of the transmission line didn't look right to me, just from experience. It's a coplanar design with a, a rear uh, a ground plane. Uh, we'll get to that a little bit later, but the spacing and stuff, it just didn't look right to me to, for a 50 ohm system. So maybe it's not 50 ohm. So anyway, so let's go ahead and measure this and we'll put it in the uh, calculator and figure out what the uh, designed impedance was for this particular product. All right. And so we're going to do that with uh, some equipment. Um, so uh, I showed once before using a comparator, I mean, a, a, a measurement loop. Uh, we're going to be using a toolmaker's microscope today. You can call it a toolmaker's microscope. You can call it an optical comparator. Um, but uh, I have this uh, stage that is a micrometer stage that allows me to translate in one direction and we will uh, build ourselves a poor man's uh, toolmaker's microscope out of this and make our measurement. Okay, so how do we do that? Uh, let, me, uh, let me rearrange things here a bit. All right, so I have my uh, uh, microscope here looking down. Uh, if you go into the menu system of this microscope, you can have it insert a crosshair. That crosshair will be valuable for our measurement. So we need to have this stage down here, okay? And we need to make sure the stage doesn't wiggle around. So I'm, I'm going to use some of this blue tack and I'm just going to kind of jam the blue tack over on this edge here and get another long strip and jam it over on, uh, on this side here. And now this thing's real solid and it's not, it's not going to move. So I love blue tack. All right. So we, now we can put the part in here and uh, focus on it. All right come down here some parts we want to measure. Okay, here is our place to measure. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero my micrometer. Okay, and uh, then we will translate over and measure everything, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's put the crosshairs on uh, this edge right here. Oops. Put the crosshairs on that edge right there. All right, now I'm going to translate over and now I'm on this edge, okay? And uh, that translated 1.1 millimeters, right? I'm gonna translate over to here. Now we're at 2.2 millimeters. And now we're gonna translate over here and we're at 3.3 millimeters. So every single item here is 1.1 millimeters. So the spaces are 1.1 and the thickness, uh, the, uh, the width, width of that trace is 1.1. So 1.1 to here, 1.1 to here, and 1.1 to here, okay? So, so that's easy to remember. We also need to know the thickness of the PC board, all right? So uh, let's see if we can't do that. I'm gonna have to uh, kind of move my microscope up out of the way. Let's put this here. That's pretty good. So we can balance our uh, PC board vertical. Okay. 
and then we can bring our microscope back down and there is the PCB. All right, so uh, let's focus on that. All right, that's in focus. And uh, okay, uh, we can translate over. Let me reset the uh, micrometer to zero. And I don't like this is a little bit. There we go. That, that side's better. I like this side better. All right. So I'm going to put uh, the crosshairs on the edge of that PCB. And I'm going to translate over to the other edge of the FR4 right about there. And guess, guess what that value is? 1.1 um, millimeters. <laughs> so in this system, everything is 1.1 millimeters. And so, uh, yeah, uh, pretty easy to remember all those numbers so let's go punch them in and see what we get all right let's use the calculator tools here and uh we're going to be doing a uh, so there's different things to choose here you can do microstrip you can do co coplanar waveguide um, which is what you think we have we have ground and a stripe and a ground but there's no uh copper on the bottom so you have to make sure you choose this one which is Coplanar waveguide with ground plane. You have to include that ground plane in there. All right. And then um, you need to come over here. I've already typed them in, but our width is 1.1 and our spacing is 1.1, W and S. You can see it here, W and S. And then H. H is the thickness of the board and H is here, 1.1. Then we also have to choose the material. Um, you can choose anything here, but FR4 is the most likely thing. We'll do uh, FR4, dielectric constant of four and a half, and then we'll do a analyze. And uh, we come up with a weird number. What just happened? What did I do wrong? Oh, here. I'm sorry. It's right here. Um, I was looking down here. Uh, 68 ohms. 68 ohms. So th that's not right. I mean... Why would you design at 68 ohms? People are going to say, oh, well, you probably have a different PC board in here. Four and a half. Um, let's say it was four. Let's calculate that. 71. That's going the wrong direction. So it has to be um, less. So let's go to a Rogers material. Okay. And we'll calculate that. And we get 75 ohms. Nope, that's not it. Uh, let's go to uh, Duroid. And we'll calculate that at 91. Going the wrong direction. So we need bigger. So let's say it was, uh, it's hard to get bigger here. Uh, let's say it was uh, Beryllia 6.6. 6. 6. Okay, calculate that. 57, yeah, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's FR4. Uh, but in order to get to 50 ohms, we would need something around 7. <laughs> and there just isn't any good choices here for a dielectric constant of 7. So the board's just designed funny. So I think my first instinct was right. It's just strange spacing. Anyway, hope you learned something.